hello everyone welcome back my youtube channel salesperson this is rohit and today i'm going to show you how to get org base url using flow so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel for more updates and please watch this video until end because it's a very much important for us if you want to get org base url using flows right so let's get started without any further delay so for now i'm in my salesforce org so if you want to create any apex class because i need some apex class inside my flow so how to use that let me show you here so just click on this gear icon click on this debug console and under this debug console you can see this environment just click on this file new apex class and give your apex class name here so let's say get org base url click on this ok button and here you can see my class is created successfully let me change this class as a global here and uh, once you make it this class as a global let me define one wrapper class inside this class that is called inner class so you can define with the help of global class and then results and uh, this class contain two variables first is like uh, sfdc base url and uh, sfdc record url so how to use that so let me show you so if you want to use it this variable inside your flow so always make it this notation invocable variable invocable variable like this okay so once you define this invocable variable so just you can use it like global and define your variable so let's say string sfdc base url and semicolon and again i want to define another variable for the record url sfdc record url so it's record url like this okay so once you define this uh, you know inner class so just let me save this class so here you can see invocable method so it's showing some error why because let me check the spelling first it's a variable like this so let me save it now you can see successfully saved now how to write the code for the getting the org base url so you can get it with the help of you know so if you want to use it this method method inside your flow so always use this no notation invocable so let me copy this invocable here to here instead of writing again and again right so invocable method under this method you can give like label and this label that is called get salesforce base and record url something like that right so once you write it now you have to define your method global static and it's a list of your wrapper class name so let's say results and uh, get base url this is the method name under this method i want to pass like list of you know s object so it can be anything based on your requirement you can choose it let's say source source records right so once you give this method name and everything so just you have to write your math uh, logic here so list of results and it should be any kind of things let's say sfdc url right urls it can be anything like new and just copy this line from here to here paste it here and now you can see this is the list of uh, results i want to iterate this list with the help of s object so let me copy this s object paste it here and it's a obj colon and here you can see uh, source right this is a source so it's coming from the flows uh, like number of records based on requirement so here under this loop i want to create the instance of this class so here you can see uh, result r equals to new results so this is the instance of this class based on this instance let's say 
r dot i want to fetch this sfdc base url equals to how to get it so you can get it based on your requirement let's say url is a predefined class under the salesforce and we can get like get salesforce base url dot to external right form so this is the mm, way to find out your base url from the org right once you've done it now you can define this you know line of uh, code for the record url as well so how to do that once you write it now you can concatenate with the help of this plus icon and then slash and then plus and then obj dot id so here you can see this is obj dot id and semicolon now you can see this one after that you have to add this number of item inside this list so sfdc urls dot add and then you can pass like r because it's, it's having the records and after that you can return uh, this one as well let's say return return sfdc urls right let me save it once you've done it now you will be see this class inside your flow so how to get this uh, class inside our flow and how to use it and how to get this base url as well right so under here you can see that uh, this is the object manager right just click on this setup once you click on this setup you will be see one button in the right top corner create and click on this flow this is another way to create the flow Cl select your flow name let's say screen flow create new one under here you have to you know get the records based on your requirement you can get it from anywhere as you want right for now here i want to get the uh, you know account records so just click on this get element and get account like this and as object you have to select like account under here we have like name field as you know very well and if you want to get a specific account name so you can go here in the app launcher select like accounts and you can use it anywhere as you want let's say this record let me click on this burlington and just copy this name here copy this name paste it in your flow like this click on this done button now you can see get account right so it's getting the records of the account the current record just click on this plus icon click on this action and here in the category just change it to actions here and now you can see my class here let's say get org base url and under this s object you can see lots of x object for so for now i'm using this one like account so you can use it anywhere as you want let's say this one and source here you can see the source so just this is the source like get account and under this advance you can just choose this uh, manual assign variable and under here you can see like uh, sfdc base url so how to get it so you can create your new resource with the help of this one variable and api name like where underscore base url right and data type should be text and you can use it like not null apply for both click on this done button for this one record page same thing you can create like this variable api name like where underscore uh, record url and just you have to select text allow for both inputs and output not null click on this done now we can see my two variables just click on this done button and under this plus icon again i need to add the output so this is the output screen let's say out put screen right so this is the output screen under this screen we have to use our display text let's say display text and here you can see this is a display text let's say result for example purpose and you can give like the get org url here right make it as a bold if you want to get it from here right and uh, new line you can add it let's say get get record 
URL like this okay and how to use this dynamically you can use it based on this uh, you know your variable so my variable name is where we already created this variable right and just you can use it from here like where base URL base record right we already defined these two variables just click on this done button and let me save this flow let's say get org base URL something like that click on this save button and once you save it now it's time to debug it so how to debug it just click on this debug and now immediately you will be see like uh, two inputs because right now it's a debugging mode you can use it this flow inside your record page that is the better way so just click on this run and once you click on this run immediately you can see my you know this uh, uh, base URL and this, this record ID right but uh, let me check uh, this flow for uh, this variable so base URL contain this one right and uh, let me check this get account okay so we already miss up some variable here so we have to use this record so just copy this one paste it here just save it and again you have to use it this one inside your flow so just click on this done because our flow is uh, correct and let me refresh it this flow and let's see what happened so here you can see our flow is successfully created now just click on this debug and you will be see two outputs one is or base URL and second one is you know record so now immediately you can see my base URL here and uh, another one is get record URL with the record ID you can see so if you want to navigate on that particular URL so you can navigate with the help of some modification so how to do that let me show you here so how to navigate let me make it as a you know link this one so uh, click on this link and uh, link title just copy this one paste it here link title let's say org base url something like that click on the save button and now you can make it as a link this one as well the, because of you know record for the record so let's say get record details for example so just let me save it done it again you have to click on this save button and click on this debug and once you click on this debug immediately you will be see the correct output as we want let's say get your org URL you can see this is a link of this URL and get record you can see this is a record once you click on this one it's automatic redirect your org now you can see this one right so this is our org URL and immediately it's automatic redirect the org URL if you want to make it like org let's say get record details so just click on this get record details and it's automatic redirect that particular records inside your Salesforce so now you can see immediately this Burlington because we already set up as a hard coded value so you can make it dynamically based on your requirement for your better understanding purpose and for this video purpose so my intention is only for showing the base URL that's why you can get it like this okay so guys I hope you learn something new in this video hopefully so please subscribe my youtube channel and please turn on the bell icon uh, for the notification so till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching